In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Beaver Builder plugin after you do purchase it, and then how to put in your license key to activate the plugin so you receive the updates that Beaver Builder put out. So during checkout, you'll be asked to register a new account by entering a username and a password. The reason that Beaver Builder forces you to register during checkout is because it's within your account, they provide your license key. So once you have purchased Beaver Builder, you wanna go back to their website by visiting www.wpbeaverbuilder.com and then in the main menu under account, click on downloads and orders. Now, if you're not still logged in after purchasing, so maybe you've uh, gone away and come back a couple of days later and you're logged out, under account, you'll be asked to log in first. And then once you log in, come back to account and then click on downloads and orders. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to your account page. And here we're focused on two things for this video. One, your license key, which is this long string of text and numbers. So that's unique to you. And under that are the files that you can download. So I have the agency version, and if you have the agency or the pro, you'll see the Beaver Builder plugin here, as well as the theme files underneath. Or if you've purchased the standard version, which does not come with a theme, you will just see the Beaver Builder plugin. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the Beaver Builder plugin file and download that to your computer. And that will download a .zip that contains our plugin. Next, we wanna to go to the website that we're gonna be installing Beaver Builder on and we want to install it like any other plugin that we would. So go to plugins and then add new, click upload plugin, choose file, click on the dots that we just downloaded, click open and then install now. Once that finishes, you want to click on activate plugin to activate the Beaver Builder plugin. And that will redirect you here to the Beaver Builder settings page. And this is where you set all the settings for the Beaver Builder plugin. Now, if at any time you do navigate away from that and you want to come back to it, you can get to it at any time by going to settings and under that it says page builder, click on that and that will take you back to this page. So in the next video, I'm going to go through all the settings here on this page. But for this video, we're focused on one more thing and that's putting in our license key to activate the Beaver Builder plugin so we receive the updates that they put out. So to do that, there's a tab that says license. So let's go ahead and click on that. And on this page, you'll see a text box here. If you don't see it, there'll be a blue button underneath that says enter license key. So you wanna go ahead and click on that and then that will show this text field. And you can see that our license isn't currently activated because it says not active here in the orangey red text. So to get our license key, we wanna go back to our account on the Beaver Builder website. And where it says your license key, we wanna copy this long string of text and numbers. So we'll copy that and go back to the website we're installing Beaver Builder on. And we wanna paste that into this text box here. And then we wanna click on save license key. And that will reload the page and then just click on license again. And we know that this has worked because it will say active in green. So this means we've installed Beaver Builder put in a legitimate license key and that it's activated and that we're gonna receive updates that Beaver Builder put out. So that's all for this lesson. Let's go on to the next lesson and I'll run you through all the settings that Beaver Builder comes with, what they do and how you can use them. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.